Bloom. I guess I'm an artist. I've been doing some kind of music since I was 17. 77 Rise Recordings is the name of my label and it's my, actually my birthday. It's not about me though. I do like building relationships with people. If I find someone and they're approachable and down to earth, I thrive on that. If I like it, I like it. That's one thing too. Like, I don't care how many fucking followers you have or I don't give a shit about that. You can be Joe Blow in the middle of fucking nowhere. And if you know how to murder an NPC or even if you use GarageBand and you know how to make it sound like your sound, then shit, man, let's work. Like, you know what I mean? Like if you're, if you're like original with it, then cool, let's do this. There's a point to where, you know, everything was on SoundCloud and it's all digital. There was no like tangible, you know, so people were just putting out singles, singles, and I was doing that. I was guilty of it. I was like, someone, I just want people to listen to my music, you know, but no one was hearing. And I was like, well, fuck this. I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to put this shit on cassette. It's nostalgic to me, you know, like having that walk down your hip or your pocket, you know, like. That's what I did as a kid, you know. I remember uh, I had a kid in my neighborhood named Amir and his brother, he had an older brother too. And I remember NWA first came out with their first release and he stole the tape from his brother and we were walking, I was probably in fucking fifth grade or something. He's like, listen to this, dude. <laughs> it was just like, Hello aggressive rap, you know, cussing and all that shit. I didn't, I never heard anything like that. I was like blown away. You know, can I borrow this so I can make my own copy? And I, I had to go steal like one of my brother's cassettes. You know, I get so in trouble, but that was one little memory I just, I totally forgot about. It's crazy. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I get a little nostalgic now. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. Um, yeah, uh, shit, man. When I was 17, um, <clears throat> when I was 17, seven days after my birthday, um, I got in a serious heart car accident, and I was in a coma for three months, and I don't know how to walk and talk again. Uh, I was in the hospital for a while. Um, I walk with a limp and my left hand doesn't really work that well. Um, that's why I started doing music because I loved that as a kid and physically I couldn't do the things I was doing. Um, I was a football player, I was on a swim team. I just couldn't do that anymore. I wasn't in the right mindset anymore because I had a huge head injury. So I locked myself away and just started listening to music. I mean, seriously, like, I like gave up everything and I like started buying records and I said, I mean, I was depressed, you know, but I was like, the only thing that made me happy was music. So, um, shit, man, I didn't even want to like, I actually wasn't going to bring this story up, but that's why I chose 77 Rise because, you know, like, I'm coming up, like, I'm, I'm coming, I'm, I'm, I want to get back to the, the good times, you know, so. This is why, like, I went from 17 till I'm 42 now, almost 42. 
this is why I sit in this room, because like, this is my escape, you know? This is my escape. Even though it's someone else's music, it's my escape. The label is just like a cherry on top. And the artists that are with me is like a full meal. You know what I mean? I feel like everything like, they bring me joy, the artists I work with bring me joy. You know, it's just like listening to a new artist that you discovered or, it just, it brings me joy. Thank you.